YouTube, Drone Tech here. I'm getting really tired of leftist activists in the media constantly warning about an uprising, a revolution, or a civil war. And when they do it, they're always blaming their political opposition, just fellow American citizens. MSNBC's Donnie Douchebag has made similar claims in the past, saying that Trump is a dictator and is going to jail reporters, so we all need to take to the streets in violent revolution. In this case, CNN's Carl Bernstein makes the completely baseless claim that Trump, quote, knew that we were in a cold civil war and exploited it. First off, who said that we're engaged in a cold civil war? Was there some sort of official declaration that I don't know about? Or has this always been the mindset of these fake journalists in the DNC media? If that's the case, it would explain their partisan behavior going back to at least the Bush administration. The media controls the flow of information in this country, and it's they who have divided the country along partisan lines with their double standards and their one-sided reporting. Yet, amazingly, they have the nerve to blame the American people who support Trump and oppose them. They demonize us, they call us fascist and racist. Racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic. Islamophobic. And all while they're defending their mass communist thugs who use violence against fellow American citizens who they disagree with politically. Even when those masked thugs attack and seriously injure a fellow reporter. Look, this cold civil war predates Donald Trump and Donald Trump understood that we're in a cold civil war in this country and he has exploited it. Again, what evidence does he present to back up his claim? I'm just a guy on the internet and I was able to use Google to search and see that Trump has never alluded to or mentioned anything about a cold civil war. And in fact, it was all left wing sources who were making that claim. Now, don't get me wrong. I actually don't disagree that we're engaged in some sort of a cold civil war, or at the very least, we are a fiercely divided country along politically partisan lines over fundamental questions about what America is and isn't. There's no doubt in my mind that if we continue on this current course, that that eventually it will result in a real civil war. I have no idea what that would look like and I'm not going to speculate about it in this video, but my point is that it's our powerful media that is dividing this country along partisan political lines and are actually not doing anything at all to reverse this course. They're actually stoking the flames. Unlike the courageous journalist Carl Bernstein, I'm going to offer some examples to back up my claim. How is the media stoking the flames? Well, for one, they're intensifying racial divisions in this country by omitting facts that are inconvenient to the narrative. For example, they'll amplify police shooting when the person is black and the cop is white, but ignore every other incident of that where it doesn't fit those specific requirements, thereby giving a very lopsided picture of what's actually going on out there. They'll promote the mythical gender pay gap, but they won't discuss all the other factors that might play into that. They only focus on sexism because they get maximum political benefit from that. And once again, by omitting those facts, they just continue to divide the country even more. They fear monger for weeks on end when Trump supporters chant CNN sucks, but are all but silent when Antifa attacks and seriously injures a fellow reporter. They smear a bunch of kids as racist when those kids were actually the victims of racism. Are you seeing the pattern here? Words which are unprecedented in terms of presidential conduct. No president in the history of the United States in 246 years has expressed the kinds of ideas and thoughts and undemocratic notions and authoritarian notions undemocratic and authoritarian notions what the hell is he talking about we have no idea because he doesn't give a single example he knows he could just throw out these baseless accusations and nobody on cnn especially brian stelter are gonna call him on it he says that no president in 146 years has expressed these notions whatever the hell they are right off the top of my head i know that fdr a democrat had some pretty undemocratic notions when it came to the supreme court he wanted the ability to install a justice for every every justice over 70 that was already serving. It was voted down, but it's actually an idea that modern Democrats are trying to bring back. Maybe I'm completely crazy, but wasn't it FDR that put Japanese Americans in internment camps? That's pretty undemocratic. So right off the bat, it's pretty clear that this award-winning journalist, Carl Bernstein, is just hyperbolically lying. From where I'm sitting, if there's anybody out there with power who's acting in an authoritarian manner, it's the media and their Democrat party handlers. After all, it was Hillary Clinton and the media who said that if Trump hypothetically challenged election results, it would be an attack on democracy. And yet, what have they done since day one? 
By their own standards, they are the ones who are a threat to democracy. We need to start connecting these dots. What do people in the country think of this and why do they think and support him uh, no matter what he does? Why does he act like this is some big mystery? Ben Shapiro was on the show pretty recently and laid out exactly why people support Trump and distrust the media. The, the job of the media should be to understand that we're always the opposition. If we're the fourth estate and it's our job to check the government and it's our job to check the White House, it shouldn't matter whether you like or dislike the person in the White House particularly. You should be treating the White House as your opposition. The fact that the media did not treat President Obama as much as the opposition as they are President Trump is giving Trump the opening to slap you guys around. But unfortunately, these people are shoved so far up their own asses that they can never see themselves as part of the problem. The reason people support Trump no matter what is because they know the media has double standards when it comes to Republicans. They know that the media will hold Republicans to standards that they never intend on holding Democrats to. It's painfully obvious that their standards are merely a mechanism that they use for attacking the Democrat Party's opposition. For example, their hypocritical and increasingly unhinged outrage over border detention facilities. These same facilities were arguably more overfilled when Obama was president, which saw 90,000 unaccompanied kids streaming across the border. If you do a Google search and you narrow the search parameters down to 2013 to 2014, you're going to find a few scattered stories about the overfilled detention facilities and the bad conditions. But what you won't find is any anger or outrage being directed towards Obama over it. They gave Obama a complete pass, and now they're using this inherited problem as a weapon against Trump. People aren't that stupid. They're not going to just sit back and allow the media to institute these contradictory double standards. That's all I have for you today, folks. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and be sure to hit the notification bell. You likely won't know about new content otherwise. Thanks. I'll see you next time.